I've been hearing rumblings from some of you that thought my last promo was straight fire. I mean, would you really expect anything else? There's also the ones that didn't think so. But here's the thing. A, I don't give a damn what you think, and you can dump in your nappy all you want, but don't be mad because I'm a better talker than you. You people know me. You know me. You know me. Just joke, seriously, how shit was that Marina Shafir promo? Jesus Christ, that was a train wreck. Back to brass tacks. Let's face it. Half of you couldn't even touch me on this damn microphone. But by all means, if you think you can do better, here's the mic. I'll gladly hand you this mic. Step up to the plate and hit a home run. But I'm going to tell you right now, by the time you've hit one, I've already hit a grand slam. Because my bases are always loaded, especially when it comes to this damn microphone. The Canadian Dragon brings it like no other can. You all probably thought, here's this dumb kid from Canada, didn't ya? Those are the same type of people that think all Canadians live in igloos all year round, too. Shows how dumb you Americans truly are. Us Canadians are known for being nice, which in actuality is very true. A lot of Canadians are nice, but I'm not most Canadians. I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm my own breed, baby. Just like Tom Hanks, I'm in a league of my own. Oh, CWF, how does it feel? I just hit you with that double entendre. Now, I'm sure most of you halfwits are scratching your head at home thinking, uh, what's a double entendre? No, I'm not talking about a video game system that was invented in the 80s. That's a Nintendo. That, this morons, is a particular way of wording something to have a double meaning. You see, Tom Hanks is one of the best actors in the planet. He is in a league of his own, and he also starred in, wait for it, follow the bouncing ball and try to keep up, a league of their own. See what I did there? As Jim Carrey once said, somebody stop me. Now, what kind of wrestler would I be if I could only perform in the ring and not deliver the goods on the stick? You know what type of wrestler I'd be? Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for him, Johnny? I'll take shitty wrestlers for 500, Alex. I'll also take originality over boring any day. You see, I'm a star because I carry myself like one in and out of that ring. That's a lot more than I can say for the Joseph Santos of the world. And trust me when I say there's a fuck ton of them. Everything I've ever accomplished in this business, and believe me, that's a damn long list, I've earned. I never half-ass anything. I don't take shortcuts, and I definitely don't just skate by just to simply skate by. I am a wrestler. I was trained to be a wrestler. I sure as hell didn't come from some stupid program for athletes that trains them how to be a superstar in a few weeks. And I sure as hell didn't get hired because my daddy owns a shitty football team. No, 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 no. I got hired because I am a great wrestler. I know this business and I know how to draw money. So Santos, I heard what you had to say. And honestly, it came off as pretty weak. By the way, that's Mr. Canadian Dragon to you, buddy. I wasn't wrong when I called you the Janetti of the team. You see, just like Janetti, you're probably off blowing your life savings away on some chump cheap hookers and blow. Whatever floats your boat, man. But there's one problem with that scenario, compadre. It don't pay the bills. It don't put asses in seats and it sure as hell don't draw money. You see, Santos... You need a resurgence in your career. You lost yourself along the way, man. And you allowed your demons to get a hold of you and drag you down to the pits of despair. Y'all want to talk about former shells of themselves? Look no further than the Omega Josa Santos. I don't think you got what it takes anymore. And that's why I suggest you hang up those boots. Maybe announce it on Twitter, Instagram. I could even help you promote it. The Joseph Santos Retirement Tour. One final hurrah. You see, Santos, years ago you compared me to old Yeller. You told me I was the one who should be taken out back and put to sleep for good. But it's you that needs to be taken to the old shed because time's up for you, gunslinger. You rode your last horse because now you ventured into my town. 
I am the judge, jury, sheriff, and executioner. You see, I control my town and everything in it. This is a Robbie Rage world, and you're all just living in it. So, Santos, I accept your best of seven challenge because it's time to step aside and let a real star shine through. You're a smart man, so you should know when your time in the sun has come and gone. And from what I see, you don't got anything left. You used to be the best talker in this business. You used to have passion for what we do. I've seen it with my own eyes. I don't want this beaten down shell of a man. No, no, no. I want the Joseph Santos of old. I'm talking world, former world heavyweight champion, best talker in the business, a man that didn't take shit from anyone. I want that young, hungry son of a bitch who had fire and passion for this business unlike I've never seen before. I want that man I met years ago. I want that Santos. So I can take him out back to the old proverbial shed and put a bullet right between his fucking eyes. Canadian dragon. <laughs>